Bro. There it is. Bro. Start with this. Good morning. Who are we with? What up, homies? Where are we? Reno, Reno Nevada. Eggs. 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 Getting breakfast. Reno Nevada before the big day. Got a well, surprise. I've kind of already said what it oh, is. Oh, yeah. Okay. Although maybe we just start the video fresh maybe here. We start here. Big I, surprise. We, I flew in last night uh, yep. to home. I grew up here. From, from freaking Denver. Yeah. It was in Denver. In Denver. And then I drove out from Utah. And then Shelton was here. I'm the unemployed. <laughs> so we're going to go. Shelton will be editing this video. There you we're go. going to go look for a Jeep. Look at a Jeep. We're going to go look at a Jeep. We're going to go see a man about a Jeep. And uh, we're gonna see if it's race ready. <laughs> oh yeah. Let's get some breakfast first. All right, boys. We had some fun in Reno, didn't we? Yes, yep. we did. <laughs> the Atlantis had some fun with our money. <laughs> yeah, I had a good breakfast, and that's all that matters. Yeah, that's it. Now, what are we up to? I don't know. The trailer's still empty. So. <laughs> I think we gotta go put something on that. Yep. Let's go off, get it. Off to go get a Jeep. Let's go find Woo! a Jeep. <laughs> All right. Bro. Bro. No way. <laughs> that thing is awesome. Yeah. I'm pumped. <laughs> Beautiful in its own way. way. So, like, I know that we could probably. Uh, I mean, I think the best part about it is it's pretty much ready to go. But uh, there's a lot of little things that we're gonna want to do to it. So I think. Um, I think I can rescan it. It's a good reality yeah, to remember that race vehicles are not your nice, uh, cozy, drive around with your family ones. So then I bought new doors. Doors are great. Well, the chat. That's what you want when you're racing. So. <laughs> I'm pumped. Yeah, we might need that. Yeah. 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 Too much jacket on me. I gotta release this stuff. <laughs> we can barely make that turn. Hey, it runs. It runs. What Is that person behind us? No, no, no. We're good. I can't see. But... Oh man, this is wild. I can't believe it. For all kids, it's like it's in good shape. It's been used. That's for sure. <laughs> hey, we know it's good. We know it'll survive. I mean, there's a lot of cosmetic stuff. Yeah. I don't know if we could even hear us with how loud it is. Yeah, it's real. so loud. But 
What the heck? It's gonna run. I think the cosmetics are the biggest issue on it, right? Yeah. And it, it's a race car at the end of the day of that. And in a couple of years, if we want to swap it to another one, we can. But it's running. I, think, I mean, we have a full set of doors. Um, so, I think we can clean a good amount of it up. Yeah. Obviously, right, we'll replace some tubes up on the front bumper. That bent one. <laughs> Other than that, I think she's ready to rock. Woo! Oh, man. All right, let's hit it. See how fast it goes. <laughs> <laughs> but I appreciate you it. You did a really good job. Well, we, we make a good product, but at the end of the day, uh, I, I actually think, I mean, really we're a family-run business, so I try to make sure that the family is the face of it, not just me. But, uh, you know, I was the one who started it up, and, and it's been a wild ride ever That's since. That's awesome. I see Lightbright did a test. Yeah, yep. And they had it one of our pumps for a while. Um, I've had actually a lot of YouTube videos lately that have been going out there. That's why we start our own channel, too, just to try to help a bit. So we call our channel Trails and Tales of BB Plate. Our whole point is just to show off like what we do as a family, what we, we enjoy about wheeling, now getting into racing, like we want to show all that off. Sure. Let people join in on the journey. Yeah. So so what you've got here is the top line compressor that we have. This is a 10.6 CFM dual cylinder. Uh, it's you know about five times, maybe six times faster than that single one that was in there for the lockers, for example. Yeah, so that's like 174 for uh, CFM. And this uh, is 300, something like that. Oh, 300 that's, liters per minute. Okay. Yep. All right, all right. Yeah, liters per LPM. minute. And the, the dual cylinder ones are about like 180, 174-ish, but that one's a single, which is like half of that. So yeah, 300 liters per minute, 10.6 uh, CFM per cubic feet. And then this one gives you the digital gauge, so you can actually set it and walk away. Right. So, I saw that in the video, so I'm getting the real deal. Here. You are. You're getting the top of the line. Wow. You set it, walk away. But you made our lives go, really have a, go have a drink. A sandwich. <laughs> Hang out with the wife and kids, sure. whatever you want to do. A lot of people too, they take the time to, you know, set their sway bar back up or yeah. if they've got anything else to figure out with the back end of their Jeep, like that's a nice time to take care of that. But 
And then the four-way hose kit makes it so you set it up once, and then you don't have to go around from individual tires. You just let it do its job. And it's still flat. Once they're all done. Yeah, equalizes them. All right, we're all loaded up. We're done. We got ourselves a race team. I don't know what we're going to race in first, but uh, we'll do some practice runs this weekend, see how she rides, and uh, first got to get back to Utah. Yeah, got a little bit of a drive ahead of us, but we'll be all right. Just eight hours. Well, we got a race jeep, and that's, that's what matters. <laughs> <laughs> Let's go race this thing yeah. sometime. All right, we're uh, a couple hours outside of Reno, stopped in Lovelock for a second. Gotta Grab get some, some food, <laughs> we're hungry. At the one wonderful restaurant of Lovelock. The Golden Arches. <laughs> the McBee. Uh, <laughs> I still can't believe we got this thing. This is gonna be a riot. I literally said to Preston in the truck, I was like laughing, I was like, what are we doing with this thing behind us? <laughs> I was like, did we just hit a midlife crisis? <laughs> it's a little early, but it's okay. We'll make the most of it. Oh, man. <laughs> Boom! Oh, <geez. laughs> oh, man. This thing is getting pounded. How are our seats looking? Oh, yeah. Buy a Hammersburg, they said. <laughs> It'll be so much fun, they said. Not difficult at all. Oh, oh, oh gosh! Oh, man. Oh, freaking out. Oh, that hurts so bad. Oh. Yeah, it just took the wind out of me. What the freak? Oh, oh shit. <laughs> well, apparently I'm not very good at backing up. <laughs> I just hit this, hit here. Man, my back is hurting. Gosh, I feel like an old man. Oh, man. I have a little muddy. How bad is it? Not too bad. Just your side. <laughs> oh, that was funny. Oh, that was funny. I'm glad you're all right. Oh. Bringing some backup for the initial test run, we have our ambassadors, Bree and Diego, coming with us. You know, we need some backup. Just never know how things like this shake out. <laughs> Thanks, Red Dog Tools. <laughs> it worked. It worked. It's a good hammer. 
We need a second set for chaos. Shocks with this, like every bump he hit, I was like, we're floating on air, and it's not just the snow. <laughs> yeah. Like, that thing's suspension is phenomenal. I am so pumped about this thing. We just gotta get it figured out with uh, what's bogging it down, and I think there's a good chance it's just that electrical. It's just a, a power pole. Probably not, but maybe our electrician Diego. friend does. Hey, Diego, Yo. you got electrical tape? Uh, actually, maybe. Come on, you're our resident electrician. Don't let us down. I wouldn't have any on me, but that's so crazy. I'm so glad he. Oh, basically, what's going on? Uh, once we start really romping on it, it starts to bog down. I, I don't know how to describe it as well since he's the one driving, but the way that I was watching his foot pedal is he'll literally hold down and you'll hear it just. It almost seems like it floods the engine, but it's not. It's the opposite. It's like it's, it's starving almost, for fuel. Yeah, and then every once in a while it kind of kind of lurch a bit. Yeah. So I don't think it's an ignition thing because it'll idle just fine, and uh, you don't hear that kind of going up and down at all. But um, oh wait, these aren't gonna block her yeah. from the wind very much. Or dirt. <laughs> I mean, when it when it gets going initially, it sounds good. It sounds amazing once you start. But so we're wondering if it's easy, either that like once the pump starts getting worked too hard, or once it gets hot. We're not sure. So, I, I, based on how he's saying it feels, though, it feels as if it's simply just starving for gas. Yeah. When it's starting to romp on it harder and harder. Yeah. And we're not talking about high speed. We're just talking after you get going for three or four minutes. Yeah. Uh, not even that, maybe two minutes. So we're going to start there. We'll get, uh, the, so it has two fuel pumps, which is really cool. That way in case one craps out, if there's quick connectors, I can swap them all. Yeah. We got to learn how to do that. Um, so we're going to replace both of those though, because the secondary one wasn't even working. Sure. First one was. And, uh, and then we'll replace the fuel filter because who knows when the last time it was that right. was done. Right, and you need to put a second battery on the circuit to... Uh, uh, yeah, we're going to put a second battery in and pull you know, that thing so down. So it doesn't <laughs> implode. That was a little sketchy. Yeah. yeah, that was good practice for getting out of the deep fast though. Yeah, it was so funny because I was like, how am I going to get out of these yeah. seat belts and harnesses that quick? Yeah. And sure enough, when he was like, yo, we got to get out of... <laughs> <Ooh, whoa! laughs> <laughs> I threw, threw myself out. He knows how to drive it well, though. Yeah. It is the smoothest thing. You gotta ride in it. Uh, I. I'm blown away how yeah. smooth it is. Like it. Looks I'm gonna like a ride piece it. I'm gonna be so mad about how my suspension you, on my you will. expensive. You will. And we're gonna we're gonna put big money into this suspension, get it all tuned up right, because that's it's BS that this thing rides as hard as it does. Yeah. No, because he bought it, then he hurt his back. No, the new owner bought it 23 in September. Oh. Oh, got janky! 